If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. All right, what's going on, y'all? So this is the Witch of Hemwick boss fight, and I believe this is the fifth boss. Yeah, this is the fifth boss um, that I that I've taken on, and it's really not worth talking about. This has to be the easiest boss they have put in any of the games, like Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 2. This game, this has to be the easiest boss. It, this this was so easy I thought I was being trolled like I thought like no way it's a trick I'm being catfish being trolled you know I was playing around I was joking the whole time you know while uh while fighting and I'm like because I'm like there's no way it should be this easy pretty much it's just one one witch that's invisible and they and she sends her minions she appears uh, every once in a while you can see where she's gonna appear by the uh, glowing light and you have a you know a short amount of time to inflict some damage on her I believe there, there's actually two witches I think it is so I think you actually had to kill both of them and that I guess was the uh, was the catch to it but it really wasn't much of a catch because they were still extremely easy and even getting to, and I beat them on the first try if you if you die at this boss then you might want to reevaluate yourself and look yourself you know look at yourself in the mirror and like reevaluate yourself as a gamer um, because they are extremely easy you know it, you just have to deal with killing those minions they throw at you but that's pretty much it and even even getting to this boss was really easy because you know the area that you have to deal with surrounding the boss first before you get to it I was just breezing through it killing all the enemies with one hit like one two hits and yes that is because largely because of I grinded a lot like I've been grinding and grinding leveling up I'm 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 pretty sure I'm way above the minimum or at least recommended level you need to beat these bosses so I'm ahead of the game and that's what I like to be I don't like to be just at the just at the you know the recommended mark of where your stat should be to be the boss I like to be above that so you know the grinding and the leveling up it pays off people it makes this game a lot less harder than it can be it turns a hard game into a medium game just by grinding and it doesn't take like a lot of time grinding it's not like a destiny thing where you just need to sit there killing enemy after enemy for days or anything like that just you know like I said yesterday I, 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 I did some blood farming for like maybe two hours today I did it for you know like maybe another two hours hour and a half and it may seem that may seem like a long time but it's really not you know it's just you going through certain areas and taking on and taking on um, you know all the enemies in the area and then you just restart take on you know go back uh, let the enemies respawn take them on again and yeah that's pretty much it so did get pretty close to dying there that's why you can never under underestimate these enemies because what's when you do that when you think they're just so easy you take them lightly and they end up killing you and you know they they do cast this little spell binding thing that um, traps you little trap card but pretty much that was the only that was the only thing it would have been it would have been more of a challenge if they put more of these things on the screen these little minions uh, minion witches they throw at you they should have thrown like five at you at once or even more than that because pretty much you were only like taking on like what two or three at one time yeah, they should have just threw more at you. That would have made it. That would have made it a real challenge. Like made it, make it real intimidating, and throw like ten of these things at me. That would have made it a real challenge. But um, I'm definitely, you know, like I said, I'm definitely enjoying the game. I honestly want to get the platinum in the game. That's that's my ultimate goal, is to get the platinum in the game. I know I'm definitely gonna beat the game. 
and right after I uh, I beat this boss I actually went and beat the uh, next boss which I'll, I'll upload that video in the morning um, but yeah right after I beat this boss I grinded a little bit more um, killed the enemy in, in that area of, of the next boss which is like pr pretty much an electric wolf um, but y'all see y'all see it's not too difficult so yeah I'm, at, at this point I'm kind of like breezing through the enemies I'm, I'm sure I'll probably run into a eventually running to run into a little brick wall one thing I hope to see is them kind of think out the box when it comes to you know how the enemies are designed how they look their move set because one thing I definitely have to admit is the enemies you know their, their attacks and just the, the style of enemies that of the bosses it, it has been a little stale and dull and predictable and monotonous you know the monotonous type of enemies um, you know I want to see a little bit more creativity just a little bit more so I'm hoping you know we we see that in the future enemies so uh, yeah that's it I'm out of here y'all peace